in front of the other, it's Katie. You got this, Westman, everybody! We got to write our own intros. <laughs> I didn't want the expectations too high. <laughs> so what a fantastic show so far. That's been great. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've been in the back, hoping each contestant comes up here and trips, but they've just been disappointing one after the other with really great sets. <laughs> what a bitch. I have to let you guys know, Calgary, you have been so fun since this uh, contest has started. It's, you guys have been fantastic as our fans. I think the other contestants can agree. Like, oh, I'll go out hanging out with my family and no one's bothering me trying to get my picture since the competition started. We hang out. <laughs> we hang out with my friends and no one's coming over to ask for my autograph and embarrass me. You guys have been awesome. Just treating me like a no regular peasant or whatever it is that you guys are that, you know, we're not. <laughs> Fantastic. So, happy Easter, everyone. We made it. Woo! <laughs> Not all of us do. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy celebrating the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, I'm name dropping. <laughs> it's a contest. <laughs> I, uh, I wore my nice dress for you guys. My mom gave it to me. Well, she gave me money for rent and I spent it on a dress. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I wanted to wear my Ninja Turtle outfit for you guys, but I haven't washed it ever. <laughs> but it's super cute. It's actually for an eight-year-old. Um, it so it's a little bit snug. I know, we think we'd be the same size, but it's these boobs. <laughs> But uh, at not one, but two Titan Bright parties, I actually won Most Prominent Camel Toe Award. <laughs> that wasn't even a thing at the second party. I just showed up and they're like, we need another award. <laughs> Everyone's good at something, I guess. <laughs> so, beards are gross, eh? <laughs> I call this joke, fuck segues. <laughs> I've just started dating a guy who has a beard. Is Jonathan here? That'd be awkward. Surprise, we're dating. <laughs> but it's kind of a weird look. Like, I'm trying to get into it, and I don't know. Like, I just feel like when he kisses me, it's just so scratchy. He leaves a rash all over my thighs. <laughs> Dad, I know you're out there. I, I don't even get that joke, Dad. <laughs> Please keep doing my taxes for me. <laughs> but he does, he has a beard, and I don't quite get the look. It's just, uh, he's a bit of a hipster, which if you're not familiar with the term, is just the definition of a man who's let himself go, and we have to be cool with that. <laughs> so I play along, but uh, he says he wants to keep his beard until Halloween. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna be a sexy pirate. Ah, like, oh, that's a bit of an oxymoron, really. <laughs> like Johnny Depp, he pulls it off, but like the other 460 extras in that movie that I wasn't thinking about fucking the whole time, <laughs> I think he's gonna look like one of those. <laughs> I don't get the mustache look either. Like the, the cute little trimmed like caterpillar or whatever, that's nice, but when it's just this like gargantuan sea cucumber resting on your face. <laughs> Like, girls, do you remember growing up with your brothers playing uh, Nintendo and just watching the Mario Brothers being like, Oh, I dropped the pants off those guys! <laughs> no, that never happened. None of us ever thought it ever. <laughs> just saying, I don't get the look. I guess it's for the guys. But uh, I was kissing my boyfriend. I love using that word. <laughs> He'll get used to it. <laughs> but I was kissing him, and um, I had to pull back, and I was like, Oh, I... <laughs> Your beard, it kind of smells like Parmesan cheese, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to be cool about it though, because he buys me things. <laughs> and I asked him, I was like, when's the last time you had Parmesan cheese? And he just looked at me deadpan, he's like, Katie, I'm lactose intolerant. <sighs> that is breaking a rule right there. You are not allowed to smell like cheese if you don't even eat it. That's a rule. 
Like, as a lady, I made rules for myself, too. Like, I've decided it is unacceptable for me to smell like salmon or tuna unless I'm eating it at that moment. <laughs> there are rules. <laughs> My brother's got a beard, too. Different guy, guys. Don't worry, it's not gonna get that bad. <laughs> And I, I get where he gets the look from. One time when we were younger, this girl came up to him and just, we were sitting in the library together and stroked his beard when he was 14. He developed early. <laughs> I imagine it with breasts when I say that. <laughs> you know, he had a big bushy beard. She stroked it and walked away. And I had to bug him. I think that's the first time he was touched by a girl. I was like, oh, hey, Daniel. Oh, yeah, you got touched by a girl. Did you get a heart on? And he just looks up from his book and he's like, Katie, I'm reading Lord of the Rings. I already have one. <laughs> Anyways, guys, you've been fantastic. That's my time. Thank you, Katie. Let's hear the judges have to say. Uh, what, I, I saw you a couple times now, and I finally think I kind of figured out how to say what I've been trying to say. Which is, I feel like when I watch your set, I actually get to know you as a person, and then not as a character. Like, when you're telling your jokes, especially your family stuff, I feel like it's very personal, it's very you, and I feel like by the end of the set, I know you ten times better than at the beginning of the set, which I like, uh, which, and she has mentioned as well all night, so. Uh, That's just the speech from Nora Ephron's stage time, Tyler. We all have seen that movie. No, okay. <laughs> that joke was just for me, it's good. That was worth it. I'll just stop now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah, I was good judging at that hosting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm not going to lie, I really struggle with your set because I'm a super beard lover. Um, a beard of I don't even know what the word is, but um, I'm just joking. So I, but I do love beards, how dare you. Um, <laughs> no, I think you have uh, really good pacing and really good timing. Like you, you know, you're predictable with your jokes. Uh, you know, I can, there's no awkward pausing or, you know, you're tr fumbling trying to say what you're trying to think of what you're going to say next. It's just really polished, good timing. Um, I also thought you were really confident, so I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I enjoyed your set. Yeah, I thought, the, I thought the point of view and the voice was super clear, and, and it was, the confidence was super nice, and I imagine an imaginary set that you did that took out all of the, the bit of a negative stuff off the top, and then started with the, I'm so glad that you guys treat me so well because like I don't have to have the autographs and stuff, you guys don't ask me for this and that. Like, that really killed. So, uh, uh, and, and that would have started everything else nice and positive. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed that set. Thank you, Josh, thank you, judges, thank you, Katie.